Oh, come on, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, he turned it! No! Oh, he turned oh, it! No! no! Now we're going to see which teams have the best built-in adjustability. Gucci Butch Hilton talking things over with the team engineers. Here the 21 pit. The sun is really coming out now. This is what he told me this morning. He really had hoped for that the sun would come out. He felt like he had a better car for the sun than the change. Well, we're about to find out. Leader uh, Michael Waltrip is coming up on the 46 of uh, Ashton Lewis Jr. to put him a lap down. And that would leave us, uh, Daryl, only 15 cars on the lead. Look at this. Harvey just stuck his hand out the window and said, get off my back bumper, a rookie. I mean, he was all over. He pushed him all the way down the front, and uh, Harvey stuck that hand out the window and said, go on, leave me alone. But something's wrong with the 87. Yeah, Harvey. <laughs> you think he just breathed it a bit, Daryl? He's got nobody behind him. I'm sure what he's doing. But he, yeah, I mean, look how fast he went through turn three and four that time. I think I, I, you know what I've been over turn two. I, it, it's almost like he had it. Yeah, I, I, he just stopped all at once. I thought maybe his ignition. I thought he had the switch. The cord. We all these guys. I and thought maybe him. Harvick was waving his hand out the window. And, yeah, the caution was out. Yeah, I think that's what it was. He didn't realize that Harvick was saying get away, and maybe he thought there was a caution. He seemed slow down. No. Looked like Harvick pointed him to the inside, and that's where he went. But then, you're right, radio traffic. Yeah, I, I definitely think that's what Harvick was doing. It's like, no. you oh, yeah. pass me, do it to the inside, and get on, leave me alone. Yeah, well, quit bumping me at the rear end. I've done that, and I know the result. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Waltrip is your leader as we close in on 100 laps at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Scott Wimmer and Bobby Hamilton Jr. have gone a lap down. Four, 13 cars now on the lead lap. Hank Parker is the last of those as Michael Waltrip continues to put on a driving demonstration here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Yeah, we talk about this track changing. Remember, when this race started, it was 81 degrees. Now with the sun out, it's climbing in a hurry. Just in the last 10 laps, it's climbed 10 degrees. It's the hottest oh. it's been, 93 degrees. Chain me will turn one. Caution is smoke. out. Caution is out. He had been smoking for several laps. Yeah, I was just going to say that puff of smoke that we saw down the middle of the turn was going to get worse. And that was a big, big break for like Hank Parker Jr. Ooh, and maybe Ashton Lewis got his lap back. That was really close to the line. Meanwhile, Kurt Busch finally recovered from that radio missed transmission and worked his way past Kevin Harvick. Third place coming off turn four onto the front stretch. He'd been much quicker than Kevin for several, several laps. Kyle Busch, excuse me. Daryl's only one who hadn't called him Kurt yet. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just calling him rookie. Yeah. <laughs> did Ashton Lewis make it? I think he did. Uh, I don't know. If you look at it from that. From there he did. Yeah, from there he did, but how about at the beginning of that? But from two doors down in the NASCAR booth, that's where it matters. And, and on the scoring monitor, they are shorting back on the Good. lead lap, so that'll be 14 cars on the lead lap, and everybody will be to pit road. A lot of them wanting to make adjustments here. I'm sure it'll be four tires full of fuel. Nobody can make it on one stop from here, though. And, Larry, this kind of fits into your plan. You've not used up a set of your allotted tires because you've not pitted under caution yet. The only time those three sets go against you is under caution, not under green. Here comes all the leaders to pit road. Dick Bergren. Matt Kenseth comes to the attention of his pit crew. This is the same pit crew that gives him speedy stops in the Winston Cup. He has called for a rubber in the right rear spring of the car. Said he can't feel the front end of the automobile as well as he might like to. Also called for an air pressure adjustment. Steve Burns. Dick Michael Walter and Bobby Kennedy discussed making an air pressure adjustment to all four tires, vetoed that. Right side tires going on. Michael gets a drink. Rodney Fetters, the jack man, comes around to Matt Yoakum. Kevin Harvick has faded to fourth. He said the car, he just needed to have more of the back end to get into the racetrack. He also said the front was starting to slide. Butch Hilton suggested wedges instead of track bar. Kevin said yes, and what a great stop. They're going to beat everybody off pit road. But I'm going to tell you what, Matt Yoakum, let me tell you two teams that had great stops. Matt Kenson, you heard him talking about put a rubber in the right rear. Whenever you do that, that cost you a lot of time. They still had a good stop. And the Kyle Busch crew, he overshot his pits, was across the line. They had to back him up, and he still had a great pit stop. Something went on in the 17th event, though, Larry. I saw it. the rear tire was turning before they let the jack down. I, 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 I think he made it out okay, but he had a little problem there. 
Here's the race off pit road. Harvick first. By a bunch. Yeah, big gap. This is, of course, a slow motion, Michael. Michael second. You're going to see Kyle Busch and Blaney and Kenton. And one thing that really helped Kevin Harvick, we talk about this a lot, especially under caution, he sat on the pole, he had the first selection of the pit boxes, and he's pitting right at the exit of the pit road. He didn't have to move very far to win that race off pit road. Dick Bergeron? Well, there really was no mix-up with Matt Kenseth's pit stop, even though it certainly appeared that way, Mike. What really happened here was only seven men were allowed over the wall, and they had more work to do than seven men could quickly accomplish. Remember, we talked about that spring rubber in the right rear. That's what it was all about. By the time they got that thing out, they were a little bit slow on the front of the car, and that is why it appeared as if the stop was slower than it should have been. Actually, it really was, because of the spring rubber. So Kenseth comes out for it. They gave him the spot over Blaney. That was a very close call at the end of pit road. And we're under caution now. 15 cars on the lead lap. 